Okay, hi everyone. Today I'm going to be talking about social networking and the negative aspects of social networking, or as I like to call it, anti-social networking. So um, we all know things such as Facebook, Twitter, and stuff like that are supposed to kind of help us connect and stuff, but um, today I'm going to be focusing on how it's actually driving people apart and being detrimental to our society's social skills. So first, I'm going to request your undivided attention, and then I'm going to update you on the status and the dark side of social networking. Okay, so recently my mom got this new phone, and she was all excited because it's one of those high-tech like Android phones. Well, it's high-tech for her because she had like this old little quirky keyboard phone, and she started downloading all the apps like Facebook, Twitter, and all that stuff, and I couldn't help but like make fun of her because she's all excited, and she only had like 20 friends on Facebook, <laughs> and so I was like, hi, ah, you're such a noob, and she's like, well, yeah, how many friends do you have, and I'm like, I have... 565 and she's like well how many of those people are your friends in real life and I was like that's so true because when you think about it well when I thought about it I would say I only realistically have like 10 real friends that I hang out with regularly and maybe like three that I truly confide in and so it got me thinking you know like that social networks are actually kind of like creating a false illusion of being connected to the world and people around you and the more you focus on these social networks the more you're kind of driven away from people in real life and so first I'm going to talk about um, how much time is wasted on social media second I'm going to talk about how all that time that you're wasting negatively um, affects your life and then I'm going to talk about how social networks are actually creating an anti-social society. And then finally, I'll offer some solutions. So my first point is going to be the time spent on social media. And according to Nielsen Wire's article, Social Media Report 2012, Americans spent 74 billion minutes on social media via home computer, 48.8 billion minutes via apps, and 57 I mean, 5.7 um, minutes via mobile web browsers. So that was a total of 121.1 billion minutes that, as a society, we're wasting on these social media things. And ain't nobody got time for that. You could <laughs> find the cure for cancer with all the time that we're spending on um, social media. And so, in other words, that's more than 2 billion hours of updating statuses, liking pictures, blogging about how much your life sucks, <laughs> sending Jennifer Lawrence fan mail, and stalking your ex-boyfriend's <laughs> profile to keep you updated on his latest romances. <laughs> social networking, more like social not working. Uh. <laughs> um, and then, so is society, I mean, is social networking really all that social? Um, if you're spending two billion hours on social networks, chances are you're missing out on a lot of real life experiences. Um, so according to a study <laughs> conducted in January 2012 by the USC Annenberg School of um, Technology found that um, the percentage of people reporting less face-to-face -face time with family rose from 8% in 2000 to 34% in 2011. And we all know what that, we've all seen what that looks like. You know, you're at a party and everyone's on their phone. You're eating with your family or your significant other and you're like texting, you're Instagramming pictures of your food <laughs> or you're at the movies and there's always that obnoxious person who just won't get off their phone, right? And actually, um, according to Beth Snyder's 2010 article, um, I mean, entitled, that text can't wait, approximately 10% of people younger than 25 years of age actually respond to social media during intimacy. How awkward, oh, like who wow. does that? But people actually do that. That's not romantic, guys. <laughs> um, and so for my third point, I'd like to say that social networking is actually making our society anti-social, so it's ironic, you know? Um, if you're spending more time on your phone and computers and stuff than w with actual people, that's going to make you antisocial and it's going to lead to social isolation. Um, 
According to Stephen March's 2012 article entitled, Is Facebook Making Us Lonely? Passive consumption of social media is related to feelings of loneliness, depression, and stuff like that. So it's not only deteriorating your social skills, but it's also like emotionally affecting us in a negative way. And then, so ways that we can fix this um, dilemma is to go out, you know, instead of fr watching life from behind a computer screen, you know, go out, grab some lunch with a friend, go on a walk, go on a hike, have coffee over a conversation, or, you know, go watch a movie, create real memories instead of watching everyone live their lives. And, you know, just remember, silence your cell phones if you're going to go out and watch a movie and stuff, because it's really obnoxious. And so in conclusion, today we talked about the time spent on social media, how it affects us, and the negative aspects of us. And since this quarter is almost over, don't forget to add me on Facebook or follow me on Instagram, okay? <laughs> Thank you.